creatives, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to the Nerd Creative channel. Building Miniature Worlds Part 14. In this video, we'll be continuing this test of life build. Grab yourself a coffee, sit back, relax and enjoy. So, this is where we are. So we've done, we've done there, we've done the, ba the floor base, uh, the, the worktops, the finishing off the worktops as well, the wall, the, the wiring for the lights, we've done the accessories, all the accessories, we've done these two stools in the last video. In this video, we'll be finishing off these last few accessories here. So we've got, we've got this shopping bag and then we've got a couple of baguettes that go in the bag and as you can see in the picture, there, that's it there. So that's what we're going to be working on in this video. So here are my templates. These are the baguettes there. And this is the shopping bag. So I'm going to start with the shopping bag. And also this is kind of like a little detail that goes on the shopping bag. So I'm going to do the shopping bag and then I'm going to do the baguettes. And that will finish all the components that go into this build. So I'm going to put them put those aside I'm going to trim the shopping bag from the template I'm going to use a scalpel for this I might use scissors as well we'll see how we get on let me just zoom in a little bit there we just want to just want to get it cut out Yeah, I just want to get it cut really well. I'm probably going to have to use scissors for this bit here because they're not straight lines. But that's what we do. Mix and match. Do this side. Line the ruler up like that. Probably, I'll probably switch to scissors now. all the white sections out and then we need to cut these kind of wavy lines Might do is just cut across the top. Just make it easier to cut. I may miss that one as well. Just get this one. Okay, now I'll just cut these wavy lines. It's not as easy. Very small. Not as easy to cut these 
wavy lines out. I think I just said that. <laughs> I'll, use, I'll get some tweezers just to pick them out. I think I got them. There we go. So we need to score on these lines to create our bag. Need the ruler. That knife keeps rolling around. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to score on the lines here. Go down there and I'm gonna to have to get a new uh, self-healing mat because the the roughness of the glue on here the dry glue from previous builds is making it difficult to slide the ruler and then I'm gonna to have to keep it clean stop letting blobs of glue go on it so I'm gonna to have to use like paper towel and stuff when I'm painting and gluing and stuff and keep the surface clean and then I need to get a new one of those uh, Nerd Creative stickers okay, do... yeah I'm getting a new computer soon as well because I've mentioned it before it's a nightmare the computer I've got something wrong with the GPU not the CPU the GPU and the problem I'll have is when I'm editing my visuals and my audio are out of sync and I've learned to work with it but the computer's kind of it's had its day it's got it's got a lot more problems than just the GPU so I'm just gonna get a new one that doesn't look straight reason it's because it's not just it's waffling on there and I'm not concentrating nice one so there that's that and then fold these down there. So yeah, new computer, new monitor, and I'm getting a mic. So this here, we need to create that, um, you know, that kind of brown bag effect. Where it pulls in a little bit, so I'm going to try and create that effect there. My American audience will understand that. We have like plastic bags in our shops. I know you guys use the brown ones, brown paper bags. I 
And incidentally, in the last video, when I was trying to create a curve with that black wire, I used two coins, um, two British coins. One was a 10p and one was a 5p. So I think that goes around like that. Let's check in. So according to this, it goes like that. It goes like that, which I don't think makes sense. I would put it, I would put these tabs underneath, like that. There. That's the way I would do it. I would do it like that. Like that. Push this in a little bit. Like that. Then I create that shape. Oops. And then on this side I would create the same shape. I'll probably wait until I glue it to do that. So pull it in like that. Pull it in like that. So it's going inwards rather than outwards. I'll wait till I've glued it. So. I think I might just use um, I would put all of them inside. Those those two flaps there, I would put them inside there and inside there like that. And then I would, I'd just glue there. I need it. I think I need another glue. This glue, this glue starts to seal. The, so I'm just gonna glue there like that to create the shape there, like that. create the initial shape there to my bag and then I just need to glue down that side there like let's just get in there need to glue down there like that just close that up down like that Push this in inwards. Like that. Like that. So we get that crease in the side that we want. And the next thing we need to do is this detail in here. Let's see. I'll do it with scissors. Get the rabbit. Hmm. 
To get in here like that. In there. Down there. Back out again. And then we just need to get I've got this rabbit ears to do. Uh, cut them. It's very small. Just trying to keep the details. not really much left to hold on to this with a scalpel and then the last piece which is going to be difficult with scissors Hardly, hardly hold it. Okay. Oh, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not going to be. And then that sits, that sits there, like that, on the bag. I wonder if I can just tidy it up slightly with, with the knife. Like there. And then here. It's trimming off what we need to trim off. And then I'm going to glue it in place so I just need to basically glue the back of it like that and position it where it needs to go which is there like that just need to press it down there I just need it to stick like that and then I can fold it around I can create a fold here like that there and one on that side there and feed it around to the back and we can just add a bit of glue onto onto the these areas like that and then fold it round fold it around the bag like that let me just fold it round sticking to me there. And then we can just put a bit of glue on the other side. It's still it's still a little bit sticky, so just a bit of glue there. 
and then we can just fold it around like that. I'll do it with my finger, it's a bit easier. So if those two sides meet like that, just press it down. There we go. Just want to squeeze them corners. There we go. That's our little bag. Got a bunny rabbit on it. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to cut these two pieces out here to create the baguettes. This one and this one. So I'm going to use scissors, it's fine. Remove all the white of the templates. A bit handy with the scissors. I'm going to cut out the clock. I'm going to put that clock aside because I'm not going to use it at the moment. So I've got to crumple this up. I've got to crumple these up. Which I never thought I would do, but I just need to crumple them up. So that they get... Um, they get white things on them. You know, where they crease and where they split. So I just need to crumple them up like that. Oops, I don't want to rip it. Yeah, so we're kind of getting these white effects on it. Let's just crumple it. And the same with this one, just crumple it up. I don't want to rip it though. I keep nearly ripping it. That's not what I'm wanting to achieve. Squashing it and then opening it up. So we get the white, see the whiteness on there. We just need more of that. We just need to crumple it up. Same with this one. Open it again. And then crumple it in a different way. Like that. Almost like I'm throwing them away, but what we've got to do because it's supposed to give it that bread, fresh bread look. Crumple it up like that. Open this. That's not bad. Let's open this one up. Try and 
can open it up without ripping it. And then basically what we have to do is, yeah, that, that's looking okay. Like that. Then what we've got to do is, I think, let me just see. So they need to stick out at the top, so I think it, I think that's going to work. So we need to roll it, roll it up. Like that, and then we've got to. I think we've got to twist it, twist it up like that, and then twist it down maybe like that, and then just squeeze it into like a bread, and that's that's like supposed to be our bread. I mean, what I will do is I'm going to put a spot of glue on them just so that they stay in in that shape. So I'm just going to lift that up, put a spot of glue there and squash it down like that. Uh, and the same on the other side, just put some spot of glue underneath and then just press it down so it stays in that shape. So, so that's, that's one of our bread, loaves of bread. Same with this one. Let's flatten it out again. I'm just going to roll it. It doesn't really look like, it doesn't really look like bread. But So then we, we twist up like that. And we twist down like that there. That looks more like a sweet actually. And then I'm gonna puff it out a bit so it's like bread. Yeah. Doesn't really look like bread, but and then we just slip them in the bag. So I'm just gonna get a good angle there, so slip it in the bag there. One loaf of bread there. Get the second loaf of bread in there if we can. A little tight. There we go. And that's our bread. That's our bread. It doesn't look like bread, but yeah. There, that's our bread. I'm going to cut this out because I want all our accessories cut out and ready for the assembly stage which is in the next video. Which I'm really looking forward to. Oops, making a mess of that. Yep, put that aside. And that's the battery box. Let's put that aside. Move all this rubbish out of the way. So yeah, that's what we've built there. Kind of does. I mean, in the picture, they're actually darker. See, see how dark they are compared to mine. If they were darker, they would look more like bread. But they look, the color is too similar to the bag. So, so in the next video, we'll assemble everything into the kitchen. Yeah, it's really coming on. I'm happy with that.